now we're going to do OOP. I'm going to clear this out from the last video. And we'll just do this regular. Okay, so package main. Alright, and uh, we're, okay, how you declare a struct here, right? What you have to do is declare the type first, then the name of the struct. We'll call the struct record. Okay, record. We'll put type and then we put struct after there, right? You can also declare types like you could put string here to declare type, you know, and it'll it'll be just like it'll it'll come out of the string. You can put it in 32 or whatever. We can put you can put anything here, right? You can put you know any like primitive type, but we're gonna make an object with a struct, okay? And then the convention is so we'll just put in name and then we'll call this a string okay and no comma after here then we'll put ID and we'll also call this a string right alright so now when we funk main so we'll just declare a record so we'll say R and uh, we'll call that the uh, assignment operator and then record And then we'll call name, just kind of like Jason. We'll say Bob. And then, then ID one two three four five. Okay. So we can let me import import FMT so we can print this out on the screen. Oh man. See that's one thing about Go and, and the, if you don't use the package, it won't you know it won't compile. So Visual Studio Code does a pretty good job of um, making sure you use everything. It's it's in the Go format package or whatever or Go format command or whatever you want to call that. All right, so FMT dot print line. All right, and we'll put R in here, right? And that'll be that. So clear. Go run. And we'll call main.go. Pretty sure you can do a dot here too. Because I because I already set up, because I've already done the go mod in it. Yeah. It'll automatically look for this this right here because I've already done a go mod in it for the last video. And what I did was go mod just just in case you didn't watch the last video. You should. It was on code splitting. And then OOP video, and I create some module. All right. All right. So we have our record right here, right? Now, say we want to create a constructor, right? We'll just call this new. Okay. We'll just make a regular function and new record. Okay. And you know what? We'll put an nm string for the name. Okay. So we'll just need a name. And what it'll do it is it'll return a record. Okay, perfect. So when we return this record, okay, two curly braces, put a name, and it'll be nm in here. And then we can just put some sort of default ID. And the default ID, you know, this is just for practice, so we'll just put one, blah, blah, blah. Just, I just, you know, typed whatever there, right? So now we have a constructor. So we can just say new new record, okay? And then we'll put in there um, John Bobbit. Okay. So let's see what happens. Now we got John Bobbit, you know, that's the name, and then we get the ID. So we have basically constructor here for this struct, right? Now let's say we want to format this, uh, format this a little, a little better, right? We don't want to just use this print. So let's just, uh, so we'll put show, okay? 
and what we have to do uh, here, what we have to do is special here is we have to pay, make a pointer to the record. Okay, so our record. Okay, so we can access everything. We can access everything in the uh, inside of the um, inside of the struct. So what we'll do is a format uh, print line. And usually you could use printf, but you can use you can lose whatever, right? So we'll put r.id first in this case, and this plus will concatenate a string. So we'll just you know we'll just throw something here. Uh, is the name is the ID, and then we'll put another plus here. R.name, which is which is the name from the string and we'll put is his name is this person's name let's be all inclusive here alright so now instead what we'll do we'll, we'll print out the string now and we'll do it right on the object right R dot show okay is the ID okay let me just clean this up a little bit so we can see you kind of got it running all together Okay, so we have this is the ID and John Bobbitt, because John Bobbitt is his name. Okay, and there we go. Alright, and so if we want to put this in another package, right, we can create another package and we'll call this, uh, we'll call this record. Okay, so new folder and we'll call this record. Okay, and then We'll make a new file in here, record dot go. Okay. And then we'll put package record import FMT. Okay, and now we can just take this code right here. put in here all right and now we'll import that record package import record okay so now uh, it'll it'll be a uh, OOP video that right here because remember, this is the uh, that is the outside package. That is the package that I made, right? And we'll make sure that this is going to be called record. So record. Okay. So we'll put record dot record dot new record. Okay. Perfect, and it took away the FMT package, right? So now everything should work. So you see, it works, right? All right. So just to recap, now we put this in its own its own package right here, right? And it just it just has the struct record, and in order to make our um, this is our constructor, and it returns. Uh, record with the name you choose and then a default ID and then we have the show function or the show method that this is the magic right here right it takes a pointer to the record so whatever you pass in so whatever it is this is gonna come from this is gonna make the dot operator right so when we put the R dot show the R is what's going in here 
or what's going on here. This is basically how you do this or operate on side of the values inside of the struct. Okay. Alright, so we showed how to code, split the code into its own little package and uh, you know we can also do this right we can also do this right here and pull it out. Okay, now we'll just delete this. We have to change this to package main. And we can keep it in the same same directory. Right? So instead we'll just get new record like that. And then I'm not sure if this will work. Let me try this. Just go run dot. Yep, it works. Works perfectly, right? So it's because it's in the same package. What I did, you know, I've, I've changed it to package main. So we can just, we can split our code that way too, right? All right.